hello guys today in this video I am going to show you how we can convert an, a web application or web API which is developed in .NET Core 2.2 and we are going to convert it into .NET Core 3.1 or we can say we are going to migrate it so here you can see this is documentation what I am going to follow here and this is the test project basically okay and here I am going to uh, see so yeah before proceeding I would like to request you guys to subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet and here I have opened the test CS project file and here I need to convert or change this from .NET Core 2.2 to 3.1 so this is the first work the target framework is now changed for test project okay and now in the next step we need to change or do change in the startup.cs file and here I am going to change it so what it is saying change in the configure services method and I am going to remove this line of code and we need to add this okay yeah here I will remove this two underscore two line and yeah this one I am going to comment it out okay and now I will add here this services dot add controller at place of that and add controller okay okay and now in the next thing what I will do here it is saying to change in configure method so in the configure method we need to add application builder okay this is basically already over there and replace i hosting environment okay with i web hosting environment so yeah this change i need to do okay now let me go to this method here i hosting environment and i need to change it in i web hosting environment i will paste it here okay and in the next thing i need to also add i logger manager but I think uh, currently we are not going to use this but yeah let me add it uh, just for um, to test it whether it's going to like success or not okay so I have added that as well I logger manager and now in the next thing it is saying in uh, we need to add this extension Microsoft extension dot hosting in the namespace okay so the same thing I will add it here okay and now mm, now it is saying to comment app dot use MVC in configure method okay and at place of that I need to put all these files app dot use HTTPS redirection app dot use routing app dot use course app dot use authorization and app dot use environment sorry endpoints and which will map here okay so yeah, I am going to paste all these things here and yep that is done 
okay so that is that I have removed use HTTP redirection because it was already there okay and yeah this file is done the change and now in the program.cs file I need to do this change okay here again I need to remove few things here so I will comment it out this one completely so earlier code I need to comment and I need to add a new line here okay now this code is commented and here I will copy this and paste it here okay and here uh, it will again require that um, here we you can see configure web hosts I have added okay how configure web sorry create host builder is there okay now you can see if you use entity then we need to do something and here we it is saying in the step file sorry step 5 we need to also change the SQL server uh, yeah, like with the namespace entity framework core but I am not going to do that because the same thing will work here as well in 3.1 okay and it is also saying issue need to resolve post migration okay so the issues you might see like uh, from SQL draw what you have added you need to change it into execute SQL draw or execute SQL draw async so yeah you can see these things if you want okay to change it in entity framework code 3.0 okay but I'm not going to do all these things here okay because it will work in my case here okay okay So here in controller as well you can change it from ok to content json to testing or anything you want to change you can change but if you you only go but i will say that only go ahead and change it only if you are getting any error after the migration okay otherwise you need not to do anything and one more thing if you are going to like after migration we also need to download this uh, .NET Core SDK like 3.1 version SDK so that uh, you can run the application in your like local system okay so this SDK we need to download So for macOS, I'm going to use uh, installer basically. Yeah, this one x64. I'm going to download it. Okay, and let it download. And I will pause it. And now you can see it's downloaded okay and now I am going to install it if you are using any other OS then you can also install that in your local machine whether it's Windows Linux or Mac OS you can install it by downloading it from there okay and now it's installing you can see here and once uh, that is let it finish, finish first 
okay now it's downloaded uh, let me close this and yeah we can also click on move to bin because now it's downloaded okay and now i will go ahead and try to run this okay or let me restart it first so that uh, this should have the same and okay currently i'm seeing it's rebuilding so now i'm going to rebuild or build the solution and you can see build field and the main region for this is uh, it's showing something here but we need to add okay in a startup as well in the program file so basically here we need to add uh, let me check so let me run this first again i can see this error okay and yeah, let me check what is the wrong here so you can see i have done this change here basically i added this uh, sorry not this one this one uh, microsoft extension dot hosting here in the program.cs file okay cause of that it was having dependent dependency basically on this one configure web host default and i also did the same here in a startup as well as i already did it earlier okay so here it was also having a dependency okay for this i web host environment and i have removed here that uh, i logger because it was not uh, basically useful right now here okay so that's why i have removed that from here okay because we are not using any log right now in our project okay so these things are what i have done here in my project now okay and now let me run it and you can see um, it is having uh, it is having this running uh, this is the basically home page for this project you can see okay and it's running pretty much well okay and uh, here uh, you can see uh, I, 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 I did not get any error you can see zero errors and two warning basically okay and you can see here this is the build output let me pin this okay so that we can check okay and you can see here um, this is the build result if I have succeeded okay and everything is working fine here I expected so now it's upgraded into the 3.1 version of dotnet core okay and we can easily use this api by using this localhost or if you want to host it then i have also created uh, a video for hosting this uh, it on azure basically at free of cost if you are just uh, if you want just want to use it for testing purpose so that will be a really good video for you to learn okay so you can also find that uh, like that link in the in the uh, i mean in the corner top in the cards basically section or you can also find that in the description okay and also let me show you by running some queries so for example i'm running this api values here to let me click on try it out and i will click on execute this is a simple get api and you can see i got the response at as 200 okay as 200 i got it and here let me mm -hmm show you the endpoint basically in the value controller you can see this is the endpoint what i called just right now okay and these two values are coming here okay value one and value two so yep these all are the things in this video okay i hope you learned something in this video okay so here i would like to request you guys please uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet and also don't forget to share it if you liked it and want to share with your friends okay and 
you can also put down some comment or suggestion or feedback if you want to uh, okay if you want to do that so that will be really grateful for me that or you can see I can see like I can say that it will be very useful for me as well to improve my uh, quality on video creation so that it will be more helpful for you guys as well okay so that's all guys thank you for watching this video bye bye